Chad and Chelsea Moore were walking the beach below this 200-foot cliff when they came upon this wrecked Jeep. And it looked like there wouldn't have been any survivors. But moments later, a miracle. They found 23-year-old Angela Hernandez badly injured but alive. We asked her if, like, were you in the Jeep? And she said, that was my Jeep. They called 911. The vehicle and the female are going to be about 200 feet down. She is conscious and breathing. Angela says she was driving along Northern California's magnificent Big Sur when she swerved to avoid an animal. The sudden turn sent her sailing off the cliff. For seven days, her family didn't know what happened to her. And then tears of joy as her sister Isabel heard the news that Angela is alive. It's day seven and you guys all helped us through the whole thing and Angela would not be okay. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Angela was rushed to the hospital and police yeah. had nothing but praise for her today. Angela is an amazing, amazing young woman. For her to survive for seven days on the coast with waves crashing over you at times with injuries that she had is amazing. Angela had no food, but miraculously she found a source of water. She wrote about her ordeal on Facebook. I saw a huge patch of moss with water dripping down from it. I tasted it. It was fresh. She used the radiator hose from her vehicle to collect water from the tiny spring every day. Survival expert Shane Hobel showed me how a radiator hose can be used as a canteen. I can do a couple things. I can just simply raise up this end. Now, take out my hose from this point here. Right. Keeping both ends up, I essentially have a water bottle. So. Uh, this is filled with water at this point. An ingenious method that saved Angela's life.